Hey Preeves Nation, Jordan Page with FunCheaperFree.com here and today I'm giving you a look inside my recipe notebook! Oh yeah! been here for longer than like 2.3 seconds you know that I'm all about cooking and the grocery shopping and feeding your family affordably I actually hate to cook but I do it because it saves my family so much money that's a good example for my kids and it allows us to spend our hard-earned money on things that I'd rather spend money on so how do you cook for your family regularly affordably and simply well one of my biggest secrets is a recipe notebook and I'm gonna show you all about it why you need one how to do it and I might even share a few of my favorite recipes with you. All right, let's get to it. Do you find that making dinner is kind of like the worst thing ever? Girl, I'm with you. I feel that. I absolutely hate coming up with what to make for dinner. I hate it. I feel like sometimes when it's 4.30 and my family's starving, I will just like run to Pinterest for the internet or apps or whatever and I'm just scrolling and scrolling and something looks good but then I don't have all the ingredients or something looks easy but I feel like we eat it all the time and I just get stumped and then it's tempting to just go get a $5 pizza and call it a day. So this all started when Bubba and I were newlyweds. I started a recipe binder and it has been such a saving grace ever since. Think of it kind of like, remember those old school recipe cards that your grandma had and your mom had and they would sort through them and pick out their favorite recipe and make dinner? Well, times have changed and we don't really write down our recipes on recipe cards anymore. What happens when you make a recipe that is fantastic, your family loves it, it's quick and easy, and a few weeks later you want to go make that recipe and you can't remember what it's called, you can't remember what website you found it on, you can't remember what ingredients you needed and it just gets frustrating. Well, a recipe binder saves the day. Let me tell you how it works and then I'm gonna give you an in-depth look at mine. The concept is simple. Anytime you cook from a recipe, you print it out or you photocopy it and you put it in a binder. Very simple, right? Let me show you why this is important. As you can see here, I might be a little bit of a cookbook hoarder. I love them. I do like finding my recipes on the internet, but the reality is I also love a good printed recipe in a book that I love. They're cute! Rainbow! So sure, it's easy when you're cooking a recipe from the web to print it out, but what about all these cookbooks? There might be some amazing stroganoff recipe that you want to make and you don't know what book it's in, you don't know where it's at. So even though I have my cookbooks here and even though some of them I do feel like I know like the back of my hand, even these go in the recipe binder. When I want to cook a recipe from a cookbook, then I open it up and I cook it straight straight from the cookbook. When I'm done, I write my notes directly in the book, but then I print off the recipe and it goes in my binder, which is essentially a collection of all my family tried and true favorites that we all like and enjoy and the kids are coming in and it's getting really loud. Mm. I have to show you guys this cool little gadget that I love so much. This is what I use when I cook a recipe, whether it's printed out or from a cookbook. This one specifically is from um, I actually don't know where it's from, but I will try to find the closest thing I can on the web. But what's nice is it's glass, it's super heavy and weighted so that when I'm cooking from a cookbook, it actually holds the pages open. So I'm not doing that weird awkward flip thing while I'm trying to cook. all the kids in the background. Welcome to the Page household. You've tried a recipe, whether from the web or from a favorite cookbook, you love it, made notes about it, so now what? That's where the recipe binder comes in. You print it out or you photocopy it and you keep it in this binder so that when it's a busy night or you're planning out your meals for the week, you have all your tried and true favorite recipes in one place. Let me show you the inside of mine and how I organize it and how I do it. Warning, it is not pretty. I've had this bad boy for a very very long time and uh, these recipes are well loved so <laughs> 
don't judge. First of all, the notebook. I have so many cute notebooks that I have found on Amazon. I will link those below. But this is one that I just picked up at Target forever ago. So just make sure it's cute. The only other things you really need for inside the binder are clear page protectors and divider tabs. And I highly recommend going plastic on everything. Don't use paper tabs. Trust me, this is gonna get well loved. Also, you're cooking. So your hands are gonna be gross and you're gonna be flipping through stuff and you don't wanna ruin the pages. The next thing you want to do is divide your recipe binder based on what makes sense for you. But I do recommend organizing your recipes, at least in some form or another, by protein. This is why. Let's say you've got a pack of chicken sitting in your fridge and you don't really know what to do with it. It's so easy to be able to flip open your book and say, oh, I've got chicken I need to use up and have those recipes right there rather than just like dinner recipes, slow cooker recipes. It's nice to go by protein because it kind of is more ingredient based and not category based. I have got appetizers and sides, soups, Italian food and pasta, chicken. This is beef, pork, and seafood. It just fell out. And desserts. Along with my appetizers and sides, I actually include breakfast items in there as well. Truth be told, I could probably have another five or six categories like breads and baking and instant pot, but I just keep it pretty simple in here. One thing that I love are these clear folder tab divider things so that if I need to I can just toss something in really quick so it still is in its section but it's tucked away and safe until I get a chance to get around to it. Let me show you a few tips and tricks for marking up your recipes and how to really make this recipe binder work for you. A few things that I feel like you should always write on your recipes are number one make a note. Sometimes I will say like the kids loved it or so much easier than it looks or Bubba's new favorite. Like make some form of note about your family's reaction toward it. What the? That's a reminder, use sheet protectors because heaven knows what that is. And then the next thing I do is I make notes about adaptations or substitutions. This one called for a green bell pepper. I said, leave it out for the kids. In this recipe, I didn't have bacon, so I said that I substituted sausage. But I said, you know, to add extra Dijon. This one, it says to serve on English muffins, and I said I used mini bagels. Just make notes about everything you do because you think you'll remember, but after some time has passed and you go back, it's really nice to be able to reference those changes and adaptations that you did and loved. McEwen is yelling in the background. He's two, sorry. Bubba's got him though, it's fine. Another tip with your recipe binder is remember that this binder is only for recipes that you've tried and liked. If you didn't like it or if it was just meh, don't put it in the binder. Also, if you want to try it but haven't yet, don't put it in the binder. I have a completely separate need to try binder and boy is it pretty. This binder is exactly as it sounds. It is full of recipes that I want to try. Maybe it's recipes that were given to me. Maybe it's something that I found online. Maybe it's like random recipes that came with random seasoning packets. And this you also want to organize or flag so that it's not just a big pile of recipes but that you know like breakfast, no meat, chicken, however you wanna sort those. Okay, okay, okay. I bet you guys are dying to see my favorite recipes that are in here, right? Well, lucky for you, I have several of them already featured on my Fun Cheaper Free blog and or my shelf cooking blog, so I'll link those below, but guess what? Mama J's coming out with a cookbook. Woo! It's true, I've got a cookbook coming out. It is a shelf cooking Bible that's going to blow your mind. It's not a traditional cookbook like you would think. There are dozens Dozens of pages just of substitution. There are sections that it's like, what do you have? Just plain chicken? 20 different ways to take that plain chicken with a few ingredients you already have on hand and make an entire meal out of it. I'm so excited. We've been working on this for almost two years. It is going to change your life. Let's just be honest there. Okay, but here's the thing. Because of COVID, everything is slowed down and we don't know exactly when the cookbook is going to be landed here and ready for you. So here's what I suggest. Just be sure to get on my text list. Text. FCF text 
to 833-520-0668. And you won't miss anything, you will know when they're here. And don't forget that if you are a member of my VI3 fan club subscription, you not only get bonus content, but you also get first dibs on all my products. All of the information for all of those things are below. And don't you worry, in that cookbook, I have all my favorite recipes, most of them shown or talked about for the first time ever. What? Recipe drop. Oh what? Oh boy. Oh, it's falling. So there you have it, you guys. This is how a simple but cute binder can absolutely change your life. Just remember that by keeping recipes on hand that are familiar to you, it makes it so much easier to plan your meals, cook on a whim, and really work with what you've got in your fridge, freezer, and pantry, which is called shelf cooking. And it saves you so much money and makes meal planning and cooking just 100 times easier. Listen, if you're new around here, you might not know that I've got dozens and dozens of videos on meal planning and recipes and cooking and freezer meals, grocery shopping, all sorts of stuff. So just browse through my channel and check all those out. Okay, that's enough talking. Clearly Bubba needs my help with lunch. So I'm going to go take care of that because those kids are crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what videos you want me to film next. And now if you don't mind, I'm going to go plan my meals using my recipe binder. Talk to you later. Bye.